Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're moving to Saturday college football action. We've got a nice game. Pac-12 versus ACC. We've got California traveling to play North Carolina. When you think of this one, guys, this is going to be your uh, best bet, Brian. I'm going to kick it to you first, Ralph. You look at two teams that could put up a lot of points last year. Uh, California, unfortunately, needed to put up a lot of points because they couldn't stop anybody. One of the worst defenses in the country. How do you take a look at this one early season matchup between two programs that generally don't play one another? Well, you know, there's sometimes that we say lines makers don't do their jobs correctly. They actually did a great job in this one. California last year, their average total was 74 and a half. Three of them were in the 80s. Their lowest total was 64. North Carolina last year, average total 69.1. This total, 55.5. So again, new systems. Cal has a new system. North Carolina lost a bundle. I'll tell you what. North Carolina, Trubisky, number one quarterback taken, number two overall, had two wide receivers and two running backs drafted. That's going to leave you pretty bereft on the <laughs> offensive side of the ball. Cal, again, they lose a big quarterback, Davis Webb, uh, starting a young kid. You know, this is a game where a, a lot's going to be made of the start time, but I don't put that much into a 12-20 start time, 9-20 local time for California kids because it's so early in the season. They just got started with school. You're not in your routines in the regular season like later in the year. So I discount that some as well. All right, Brian, you know, you look at this one, and as Ralph mentioned, uh, North Carolina lost so many people. And we talk about programs that, you know, it's not a rebuilding year. They just re you like to reload. But North Carolina, although they are up and coming in the ACC, uh, Fedora's done a great job down there. They're not one of those marquee teams that you think you're just going to go out and have all these blue chippers lined up. Can they overcome what they lost last year? Yeah, and talking about losing, they, number one, you lose the number one draft pick in the NFL. And this isn't a team like in Alabama, an Ohio State, or one of those teams that have been around – they're the blue blood teams that could just re reload. I mean, you're losing the number one pick in the NFL draft. You're losing nine out of the top ten skill position players on this team. So they're going to have to change the way they do business. The coaches already said we're going to have to run more this year. Uh, so they're not going to be that explosive offense like they were last year. And as, as Ralph pointed out, the total tells you that. Uh, on the other hand, you've got a Cal team who did lose their starting quarterback. They got a new coach coming in. He's a defensive coordinator coach. He's been on that side of the ball. So there's another reason why the line is, is the total in this game is lower. You know, we've always talked about when you have so many question marks, take the points. Mm -hmm. And here, and my, and my line has this figured out to be a couple points, three or four points lower than what it is right now. Uh, I, I expect this line to continue to go down. Uh, I believe it opened at 14, something in that area over at the South Point. Um, to me, the only way I could play this is the Cal. And the only concern would have been, as, as Rolf pointed out, and he stole all my thunder, the early start time. Um, when you've got the first game of the season, it's a whole lot different than when you played the week before and you're all banged up and you got to travel all the way to the other coast. I think this is a team, this is a game where there's a lot of question marks in this game, and I just don't think North Carolina is that good this year. So this will probably be the only time all season they'll lay this type of number, and we'll take the points with it. Do you not count the Browns as a team with their number one pick? Trubisky was the number two pick, but that's okay. <laughs> you forgot about well, our he was the Browns one, team. He was the number yeah, one quarterback, quarterback taken. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one final note, you know, the good news for Cal is the defense does return eight starters from last year. The bad news is <laughs> it, it, was one, yeah, it was one of the worst defenses in the country, but experience, ha they have to improve. They can't be worse, can they? Fifteen guys for Cal that have a combined 150 starts are back. So a lot of guys made starts. They are switching to a 3-4 defense with their new D.C., so some changes going on. Uh, three, three of the defensive ends moved outside linebacker. They've taken to it very well in, in spring camp. We'll see what happens. All right, there you go. Brian says to take the points with California. Um, I can't say I disagree with them. And with that total out there, it just, they're begging John Q. Public that's just going to look at last year's scores, jump on this and say, this is the easiest over of, of the day, and they're going to pound it. I think take a little look at the under maybe uh, in this one as well. And don't forget, guys, if you want to save 10 bucks this weekend, you want to buy a pick on Saturday or Sunday, hey, all weekend long, you can use coupon code TD10. We're hoping you're going to score a lot of TDs this year. 
TD10 will save you $10 on any package this weekend. You can use it once per household all the way through Monday. Check it out at wagertalk.com. We'll be back with more with college football previews.